Welcome to the Humbug, a compact solo duo base that houses all the amenities you need, with a raid cost of at least 30 rockets to TC and a sneaky shooting floor. Now onto the tour. Outside you can see we have a vending machine for selling stuff. And running up the ramp we have the entrance into the base, which is a simple airlock with a window on the left. Inside the base itself you can see we've got plenty of room for all the deployables, including a couple of beds, a hidden locker back here, and an oil refinery underneath. And behind this window you can access the vending machine, a furnace and a drop box. On the shelf you'll find some quick loot storage, at the back we even have room for a research table and a repair bench. Now drop down into the bunker where we have the main loot and TC. Here you can see the TC is placed behind a vending machine, making a wall raid extremely expensive. It can even fit 3 days of upkeep. Down here I made sure we got plenty of loot storage and room for up to 7 furnaces, a mixing table and a workbench. To open the bunker, just remove the twig frame that holds up the floor. To seal it, just build the frame and replace the floor. Jump up to the second floor again by using the workbench. And on the way up to the shooting floor, we find a nice little ghetto garden. The shooting floor itself is possibly the best feature of the base. The roof and low wall peaks are inspired by a base from one of Tacular's videos. The small gap gives you excellent visibility of the surrounding area, while making it very difficult for players to see you. I also want to give a shout out to my mate Kino, who helped me with the intro. So check out his channel in the description, where he reviews all the latest skins. And if you've got any skins that you don't like anymore, you could trade them in with today's sponsor, Howl. Howl has just released slots, live games, and most importantly, crypto withdrawals. You can now deposit Rust skins, gamble on any slot you wish, and withdraw your winnings into crypto. We've also added chat rain to claim free money every 30 minutes, without having to bet your own. A free Rust case to win up to $2,000 daily. For a limited time, you can receive a 48% bonus when depositing with gift cards or crypto, and receive money back with every bet you place. Use my code CROW for a free 50 cents. Check it out in the description. 18s and above only. Commence the build by placing down a square foundation and a triangle on either side. Surround it with walls and then put a door on this triangle. After that, seal in the roof. Now I'm gonna place the TC in this triangle, but you must upgrade the foundation to metal so you can place the TC correctly. Note the dots on the metal foundation. The TC must be placed between the third and the fourth dot in order to build the triangle shelf in the metal loop room. If you put the TC too far away, you won't be able to access it through the vending machine. And if you put it too close, you won't be able to place the triangle shelf. So when you're happy with that, move it all the way over to the right and place the TC. And remember to lock it so the vending machine does its job. And now we'll just place a single door on the TC and add another airlock. When you have some more resources, add another triangle foundation and a square. Then put walls and another door. When sealing the roof, make sure to leave the square of wood so we can soft side it out later. At this point, the starter should look like this. You can add a triangle shelf into the main loop room if you like. But make sure to leave a twig so we can remove it later to place a vending machine. Before building the bunker, it's important to add this lit room here first, so you don't mess it up. Remember to build the shelf and place the wall frame now. After that, place a triangle foundation here. Then go on top of the base and build a new entrance above the wooden square. And make sure there's an entrance on both sides. Next go back inside the base and soft side out the wooden ceiling. This can be done with just a couple of machetes. Then make sure to replace it with a square frame. And lastly build a wall on this triangle. After that the starter should look like this. It's very important to add all the parts I just showed, otherwise the bunker won't work. Next, place a triangle foundation in this gap. Then place a square 
and to the left or the right, build out by nine triangles. It doesn't matter if you have to raise or lower some of the foundations because of the terrain. Then put a square on the end and the build out should look like this. Next, remove the entire build out apart from the final square we placed. Then build back towards the base with four squares. And then place a triangle on the end. The triangle must be attached to the foundation that you're standing on. To confirm this, there should be a patch of stone in the left hand corner here. When you're happy with that, upgrade it to stone. You can confirm the orientation of the triangle by looking at the lines on top of it. Next, remove all the twig squares apart from the one you're standing on. And repeat this process again. So build out by another nine triangles and then put a square on the end. Then remove the build out apart from the last square. Now this time you want to build back with another four squares, but make sure the final one that you place attaches to the square that you're standing on by looking down. Now standing on the twig square foundation, place a full wall, and then place a triangle on top of it. This must be done from this angle. Then replace the square foundation with a triangle one, build a roof to get on top of the base, and from inside the base, place another triangle from this angle. This makes sure it attaches to the one in front of you. To confirm this, check that the stability is 11%. If it's not, you'll have to repeat these steps again. Now the bunker seal should be placeable in the square frame. But before you do that, you need to add stability to the triangle that holds it up by placing a wall frame from this angle. This will increase the stability of the triangle to 31%. You can see if you place the wall frame from the wrong angle, then it does not increase the stability of the triangle. If you want to learn more about this bunker, visit the link in the description. Before moving on to the next part, make sure that you replace this twig frame. If you don't, you won't be able to build the frame on the next floor up. Next, you're going to place a window frame here, followed by a single door, and then a double door frame. And then seal in the roof. My guarantee is that you don't have the window BP right now. If that's true, then you have to go outside and build a honeycomb around the window. Obviously we will be putting a vending machine here, but if you don't have the HQ to make one right now, just fill it with a single door. Right now the starter should look like this, and next we're going to put some walls around this back door. For the oil refinery, place two twig triangles and a stone one for the outside, and delete the twig. build up by two walls to the second floor. Now you can finish the second floor with walls and a ceiling, but don't seal the center triangle in yet. Make sure to upgrade this half wall to metal and the ceiling above the TC to armored, as it can't be done later. Then add another half wall in front and seal it in. Next place two wall frames and double doors in these locations. And finish it off with a wood half wall which we will remove later. Then place a triangle here, jump over to the other side, place a floor at half height and seal it in. Put a single door here for your locker. You can place the oil refinery whenever you like. When you do, you must do it from this angle, making sure the spout faces away from you, so you don't get stuck when you jump down here to use it. Fortunately, you will have to F1 kill to get out, so make sure you don't have anything in your inventory. When you found a triangle ladder hatch, seal it in. This is how the base will look at this stage. Now we're gonna add honeycomb all around. 
If you're strapped for resources, I recommend starting from the TC loot room first. And if you haven't built the vending machine compartment yet, remember to do that. And after you've built with the honeycomb, the base should look like this. Now we need to build a new jump up, but first you've got to upgrade this wall to metal as you won't be able to do it later. Then build a square foundation here, a roof and a wall. Next we're going to go back inside the base to finish the roof. Remove this half wall with a couple of machetes. And jump upstairs place low walls all around. Then put a half wall in between each of the double triangles. Make sure they're upgraded to metal to prevent soft siding. You can add more either side like this, but that will ruin your peaks. Then attach frames all around. A triangle either side of the half walls and then squares to finish it off. Next, attach regular roofs to the square frames and then triangle roofs to the triangle frames. Seal in the top, then add three more wall frames for stability. Also, don't forget to add shotgun traps and barricades to prevent anyone from camping it. Next, remove these doors and place ramps. Then replace the doors. And your completed roof should look like this. Before adding the final layer of honeycomb, you need to upgrade the triangles in front of these squares. These ones must be armoured due to this triangle splash block. Due to this, the triangles can be splashed through the walls when the base is raided. Upgrading them to armoured means that this doesn't matter. Then every two triangles in between must be upgraded to metal. Here's another aerial view just to make sure that you've done it right. Now we can add honeycomb all around the second floor. First add an airlock to the front door and then put walls all around the rest of the base. When the second floor honeycomb is finished, this is how the base should look. Before adding the roofs, we need to upgrade this honeycomb to metal, as it can't be done later. There are three pieces in total that need to be upgraded, each one has a square behind it, as you can see from the footprint. Now we're going to add the roof honeycomb. The roof should face inwards towards the metal. And before placing the triangle roofs, we need to upgrade these foundations to metal also. The triangle roofs can be left wood as they serve no purpose, they're just cosmetic.
Next, I'm going to show you how to place the vending machine. First, place the triangle shelf through the wall so you can rebuild it. For the vending machine, make sure it's lined up straight and ease it in carefully as far as it will go. Remember, you only get one chance at this, so make sure you do it right. If you have, you'll be able to access your TC through the side. If you haven't, well, goodbye base. Now we can rebuild this triangle shelf. If you didn't place your TC far enough back, then you'll have to use salvage shelves instead. Finally, I'll show you which parts of the base to upgrade, so watch carefully. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you like the base. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments and join the Discord if you need any help. All the best. Cheers.